This episode of the Home Pros Radio Show podcast is brought to you by Homebinder, the premier home management app. Receive home maintenance reminders, organize your home's inventory, manage your home improvement projects, and more. Stay tuned to get a free upgrade code for Homebinder worth over $200. The Home Pros Radio Show. I'm Tommy Donovan with RIC Home Inspections, and this is the Home Pros Radio Show podcast. It's a never-ending battle for those who deal with pests like squirrels and chipmunks around the home. They can do significant damage to siding, trim, and even electrical wiring if their activities are left unchecked. It gets even worse during the cooler months of the year when critters like this look to infiltrate your home in search for nesting locations. John is one of our regular listeners who has been fighting this battle on multiple fronts around his home. He called in to share his story. Oh, we got a couple calls. Look at us. We're running our mouths and we got people calling in. All right. Who are we going? John. John from Greenwood. Good morning, John. Hey, I've got a, a curveball for you guys Ooh, that, uh, that, that, that might actually um, make Scout sit up and take notice. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm calling in on the chipmunk catastrophe of 2015. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, this is a great, great uh, idea for a novel and uh, maybe a <laughs> Disney movie. Uh, pro- pro- probably goes along the lines of, um, I don't know, what was it, uh, The Money Pit or something like oh, that. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, I discovered something that a lot of people just don't know in this area okay. is that chipmunks have a dark side. You know, Alvin and the chipmunks and uh, and Dave, you know, they really are, are, are not the great little creatures they seem to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, chipmunks, and people in Alabama know this, but apparently in, in the upstate of South Carolina, they don't. Uh, my house flooded five times back in October 2015 to December 30th, 2015. And I was looking for infiltration points, and one of the things that I discovered was that chipmunks, particularly after heavy rains, dig around the foundation of a house. Mm-hmm. And the, they dig very deep burrows. Um, they you generally go into hibernation over the winter, but uh, they build subway systems and underground condominiums. So they've got these, these these subterranean condominiums down there that you got no idea what they are. You just see a little hole that's um, you know bigger than a uh, maybe a silver dollar. Yeah. You know, and, and that's all you see around your house and around the edge of the foundation and whatnot. And um, so I just wanted to alert people to that. But it, it just uh, in, in in one instance I found where they had actually burrowed up underneath my house into the crawl space, and apparently they were using my water heater as a, um, basically, as a resort area. You know, there was, there was, yeah, there was, there was a hole, there was a hole that came out there, and they had a, an acorn that, that came out of the hole, and, and, you know, I just, I visualized these chipmunks throwing out their folding chairs, their beach blankets, and their, <laughs> and their umbrellas, you know, and sitting there with their, cool, with their warm drinks in the middle of the winter. You know, they're mm-hmm. supposed to hibernate. Mm-hmm. But these things have some, have another problem that they create. When, when those holes are abandoned, you've got yellow jackets, a particularly aggressive in this area, move into the hole. So uh-huh. I've had, I've had four yellow jacket nests that have moved into abandoned ship monk holes. Mm, mm. Well, you know, <laughs> so, that reminds me of a photo that I'd like to share coming up. And now that it's fall, we're going to be working on our fall maintenance checklist. Uh, I got a picture of a nice chipmunk or squirrel. Squirrels are just as bad, wouldn't you agree? Well, um, I was going out, I was, the squirrel was the next topic. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, this is like a squirrel or a chipmunk hole that was somebody had in their, in the one of the pillars on their front porch. Mm-hmm. It was, it's pretty it's pretty, yeah. pretty bad. That's yeah, the, bad. The, the squirrels around here, they apparently are working in a league. They apparently have uh, a, a collusion going, you know, That's maybe it. with the Russians. And, uh, you know, Russian squirrel collusion with, uh, let's see, what is it, uh, Boris and uh, whatever, the, you know, Bullwinkle and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, um, yeah. But, but they actually... That trick they, never I, works. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have started chewing on my hose pipes. Mm, yeah. And, and they, they've chewed their, to, to, to keep their, their teeth down, yep. and uh, they have done something that I've never even heard of before. They get on the chain link fence, and you know there's there's a, an aluminum wrap, you know, an aluminum um, wire that you wrap the chain link fence around. Around the, uh, around to, the to top? The cha- yeah, to keep mm-hmm. the chain link up right. Yep. And you also do it up and down the poles. They have gone in and they have chewed out every blast in one of those on my property. <laughs> um, so when the wind I, blows, it looks like a sheet in the wind. Right. <laughs> and I looked I looked at, at one point, and there were 19 squirrels in my backyard. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I will not say how their numbers and ranks have been thinned out because I'm in a residential section. Right, right. <laughs> they had heart attacks. That's a lot. He's, they, it's heart attacks. They, yeah, they had, they, they had <laughs> sudden squirrel death. That's <laughs> it. Scott, I mean, Scott, what do you think of that if you saw that in the backyard? That's <laughs> right. Yeah, you wouldn't like that as much at all. Yeah, you have to do something about that. I'll tell you one other thing that you're going to have to watch out. Well, if if you have a – you said you're in a residential neighborhood, so you, right. your, your power line to your house is probably underground. But if you go in some of these older neighborhoods where everything's fed o- uh, overhead, yep. they will chew through the neutrals. They will chew, because that's aluminum wire. They'll chew through it, and then the stuff in the house will start doing crazy, crazy things. Because like half of the house will start getting more than 120 volts, the other half will get less than 120 volts. That's so you'll have you can have light bulbs blowing up on one side of the house, then on the other side of the house. I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily across from each other. It can be anywhere. But half of the stuff will light bulbs can explode. The other half will just barely be, um, you know, lighting up. So uh yeah they they're they're bad about power lines too if it's an yeah. overhead uh power line. Hmm. They have they have done uh they have actually gnawed through I had some dog food out in outside uh rubber made container and came back from Cleveland Ohio and looked at this thing and there's this hole in the top of it and I couldn't figure out what in the world it was. It was this ragged looking hole. It probably took me 3 days of doing serious Sherlock Holmes John Watson work to be able to figure out that it was squirrels trying to get into this container. Right. And they had they had actually bit into it, but um squirrels have actually chewed through uh, boats in um, a fisherman's uh, backyards. You know, a fisherman leaves his boat out there, and he comes out, and, and the wire is just completely chewed out of the, the whole thing, and he couldn't figure out what happened to it, and it was squirrels. It's amazing oh, yeah. what they would work their way through. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, so, all yeah, the time. So, yeah, so anyway, so when I call into WGTK, I call about squirrely topics. Yeah, anyway, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Here we go. That's just for you. <laughs> All right, I knew you had it. I knew you had it. So, All right. Anyway, we anyway I'm, it. Saving up, I'm saving up topics, and I'll catch you guys later. We, but we've, I've got some other stuff for you. It's not quite as much fun, but just as uh, informative. No, so, we'll make it as fun listen, as we listen, can. Listen every chance I get. You All guys, right. Uh, have a great weekend. All right, thank, thank you. You too. Do you have a question for the home pros but can't call into the show like John? Well, we're taking your questions even when we're not on the air. Visit our website at homeprosradio.com and send us your questions through our Contact Us page. You can also email us directly at ask at homeprosradio.com. We're constantly reviewing your questions, and we love the opportunity to share the topics that matter to you. Include your name and where you're from so we can mention you on the show. Coming up later, we have show contributor Megan Sicilian with Scouts Pest Control offering tips on how we can help John. In the meantime, here's another listener, Wayne, also from Greenwood, who shared some remedies that he uses around his home for those pesky chipmunks. Wayne from Greenwood. Morning, Wayne. Yes, to the guy that called earlier from Greenwood, Mm -hmm. I wished he would get in contact with me and tell me how to get rid of squirrels, but I can tell you how to get rid of chipmunks. Oh, yeah? You you buy a six-inch rectangular, I guess, steel or metal trap. And then you bait it with bird seed and put it in front of the hole, and the chipmunks will go in it. And then I put six inches of water in my ice chest, and 30 or 45 seconds later, I have feed in the woods for the raccoons and so forth. <laughs> really? You have squirrel soup? No, I said the chipmunks, but <laughs> chipmunks. I need oh, to know how to get rid of the squirrels. Oh, the squirrels. Uh, some years ago, they would go in my larger trap, which is really too big for them. I don't have a medium-sized trap, so uh, I haven't had any luck. But now, as to where to get one of those traps, you can buy them at Browns and Wear Shows. I gotcha. You know, you know what we can ask is, uh, you know, we know our, our buddy Scout doesn't like squirrels and chipmunks. Maybe we can get Megan to help us. Maybe call in next week and give us some tips. So squirrel tips. All right. Sound good, Wayne? Or is this Hannibal Lecter? I could listen to you talk all day. Okay. (laughs) Appreciate the call. This episode of the Home Pros Radio Show podcast is sponsored by Homebinder. There is no better way to organize paint colors and home documents, get maintenance reminders, receive email alerts of appliance recalls, and share valuable information about your home with potential buyers. For a limited time, use promo code HOMEPROSRADIO, all one word, to upgrade to our premium edition for the life of your ownership. Visit us online at homebinder.com or simply click on the link provided in the show description of this podcast. Homebinder, a homeowner's best friend. 
Special thanks to Wayne for offering his suggestions on handling that chipmunk problem. Now for the squirrels. As promised, Megan Sicilian with Scouts Pest Control joined us on the phone to provide her recommendations on managing the squirrel population around your home. Quick disclaimer here, some technical difficulties in our broadcast studio prevented our ability to share our original air check, but we didn't want you to miss out on Megan's advice, so we pulled our audio off of our Facebook Live feed. So here's our conversation as heard on Facebook Live, which we kicked off with our RIC Home Inspections photo from the field. So we have our <laughs> home inspections photo from the field. What are you looking at? I know what I'm doing. Did you see that? That's a nice column. It's a column in front of a house at a home inspection I did. And God, I tell you what, these these, these uh, squirrels have some skill. Mm-hmm. And there's a perfect hole right in the front of the house. Right in the front of that, you'd think they would have fixed it. But right in the front of the house that they were obviously getting in there and living. Um, that's a he must, it looks like he had a hole saw. It'd have to be a hole saw because he wouldn't be able to complete the job. It was half saw. All right. To talk about this with us, uh, hey, look who we have on the phone. It's Megan from Scouts. Good morning. Good morning, Megan. Yeah. So, Megan, last week, John from Greenwood called in about the great squirrel conspiracy. He you know, was claiming the squirrels and chipmunks were plotting to take over his home by burrowing holes around his foundation. They're working their way in. He was nesting around, uh, they were nesting around his water heater and uh, chewing on his hoses, dismantling his chain link fence, chewing through the storage container where he keeps his dog food, all kinds of stuff. What's the deal with the squirrels? What can we do to kind of keep them away? Chipmunks too. Keeping your, you know, trees trimmed back off your home, um, not providing a good environment of areas for them to seek self shelter, like underneath that water heater, probably had something that was keeping it elevated off the ground, provided uh-huh. a really easy little path for them to start creating their little burrows. Mm. So it definitely advised sealing up anything properly. Shane could tell you how many times he's probably seen attics that haven't been vented or sealed off properly with just holes. And, you know, there are ways around that with mesh and things that you can keep animals out of your house, which yeah. is very important. Um, because once you start to see squirrels, you know, you're going to start seeing bigger animals like possums and things like that. It's an uh, excellent thing for them to live in. Uh, now, I'm sure you've seen these lovely videos on Facebook. Of yeah, that's that's what I was just saying. Oh, they, they can do some <laughs> ma- amazing tricks on those things. Yeah. <laughs> entertainment. It's very really acrobatic. You know, but <laughs> mm-hmm. if you're wanting to keep them away, that's something that they see as free food. I mm-hmm. mean, who says no to free food? That's um, a good point. Safflower seeds are something that you could put out. They're not going to hurt the squirrels, but they're, they're bitter tasting. Oh. So they're like, this place stinks, you know, they mm-hmm. don't have good food. Then you go to a new spot. You would go, yeah, You're going down spot. to the Johnsons. <laughs> they've, got, they've got some of that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, another thing, motion activated sprinklers, strobe lights, uh, or ultrasonic de- uh, devices, they say, can help deter them. But mm-hmm. I really think it sounds like when you're putting up strobe lights and act- motion activated sprinklers, I'm more like a water park. Oh, or a nightclub. Like a nightclub yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell the squirrels how they're bringing it down. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I'm not saying create that for them, but it could be really cool to watch them do those acrobatics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I guess no, that's but, also, you know, I, I would think that's also an advantage of having a, an outdoor dog or cat. Uh, yes. Yeah. They would they keep them away. They'd run them off real quick. Or, you know, so that different smells. Um, they say fox urine. I'm sure you have that laying around. Oh, yeah, I got a bottle right next to my bed. Uh, <laughs> keep it over in the. Uh, keep it over in the. Any kind of animal, you know, that's a predator to them is of course going to deter them. So if you have an outside dog, you know that's the best yeah. protection. As scout, he keeps them gone out of our yard. So. All right, way to go, scout. <laughs> You could also try chili peppers. I've seen, you know, that kind of strong thing. But if they like spicy food, then, I, again, I don't know what I'm going to tell you. Well, oh, yeah. Good. What, do, what do you do? Just, like, take the safflower seed or the chili peppers or do you just lay them around? The, where, what do you do with it? Do you, you put it out on a platter or the what do you do? chili peppers or, like, garlic or something with a strong odor, you could sprinkle it around your garden. So if you had some, you know, if you were trying to grow edible food mm-hmm. and the squirrels were getting into it. 
that would be a, a natural suggestion that I would definitely take around my garden um, to stop them from getting to my mm -hmm. meter plant. <laughs> or, or what about this? What if we have the strobe lights and then we just play <laughs> the red hot chili peppers? Same like that. That was better than the one earlier. Give it away! 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 Give it to reach Megan and the folks at Scouts Pest Control, you can find them online at scoutspestcontrol.com or call them directly, 864-469-4999. If you're a home service provider who strives to be a reliable resource of valuable information to homeowners everywhere, submit your request to be an official contributor of the Home Pros Radio Show by emailing us at ask at homeprosradio.com. Now, at the Home Pros Radio Show, we like to keep things fair and balanced, so to speak, so we would be selling ourselves short if we failed to offer the opposing perspective on this topic. Thanks to our endless list of resources, we were able to hear from a special guest to help us gain additional perspective, and as you will hear, what we learned was very revealing. Good morning, Home Pros. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, this is Betsy from Greenwood. Hey, good morning, Betsy. How are you this morning? I just want to clear the air on this conspiracy theory that John was calling about. Oh, the guy with the, yeah. I live next door to John, and I want to go on record to say that I saw his dog digging those holes in the yard. Oh, you did, did you? Yes, and he's a pretty clever fellow. I was taking the trash out the other day and watched old Fido there unwinding the chain link fence. So he could get a jump on the mailman just yesterday. Oh, huh. that what it was. Plus, I shouldn't have to tell you why he was trying to chew into the dog food container. He's such a pig. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> you said so your name is Betsy? Yes. From Greenwood? Yes. Your voice sounds a little high. Have you been sucking on helium, Betsy? Oh, no, of course not. That would be bad. Wait a minute. I know who this is. What? This is Chewy the Squirrel, isn't it? Uh, no. Mm, yes, it I is. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Chewy the Squirrel. I can tell by your voice. You know, Chewy, nice try, but, uh... Not yeah. right, you got me. See? Trying to blame the dog for your destructive behavior. You it's think you're shame. so smart? Well, you just better watch it. What? You humans think you are so fancy with your heat and your electricity and your running water. Yeah, but, I mean, Chewy... Leaving Chewie, us I'm... out in the cold while our nuts are freezing. But listen, hey, Chewy, you've got to understand. You can give all the advice you can on keeping us out of your homes, <laughs> but mark my words, we'll find a way in. Oh, yeah? We'll always find evil. a way uh -oh. in. Isn't that right, boys? Yeah. Oh, 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 we're gonna hang up. Um, <laughs> I think we've stirred the pot with the squirrels. It sounds like it. I think they're, I think they're getting nuts all roasted. <laughs> Chewy, they're getting their nuts all roasted. <laughs> Now at the Home Pros Radio Show, we're giving you the key to the most informative and entertaining home improvement information available anywhere. It's the Home Pros Radio Show app. It's free on iTunes and Google Play. Download the app onto your mobile device and you'll have all of the latest home improvement and repair topics you need right at your fingertips. It's never been easier or more fun to be a well-informed homeowner. Get immediate notifications of our latest episodes, like, share, and comment on what you hear right on the Home Pros Radio Show app. Now available for your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Download it now at the iTunes App Store and on Google Play. For my co-host Shane Hips with Closing Contractor, I'm Tommy Donovan with RIC Home Inspections. We appreciate you joining us. And as always, we'll catch you next time on the Home Pros Radio Show Podcast. Thank you for listening to the Home Pros Radio Show. If you have a question for the Home Pros, visit us online at homeprosradio.com, where you can contact us directly and also learn more about the topics and guests we bring to you each week. It's the Home Pros Radio Show online at homeprosradio.com or on the radio at 94.5 WGTK. The answer. <laughs>